Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second week of Sensation and Perception. I ran over my chair there. Uh, so uh, last week, we had to do the first uh, data collection, and the study groups needed to begin studying on Chapter 1. And from what I can see, as far as the study groups are going, that seems to be going fine. All right. Um, people understood that they needed a, each group needed to develop their own thread, and you you know participated in those threads. Awesome. All right. You'll do the same thing this week for chapter two. All right. Um, the chapter over the perceptual process. Okay. Um, now. Uh, the lab one data collections, I was looking and I saw that not everybody submitted that. So if you had trouble doing that, please send me an email. Notice that you don't need the book to do the lab data collections. All you need are the instructions that I provide you. I give you everything you need in those instructions. All right. So be sure uh, not to miss those. When you miss a lab data collection, it does put you at a bit, little bit of a disadvantage. You can still do the lab report and do it at the end of the unit, but uh, which is three weeks from now or two weeks from now but you'll have a harder time writing the procedure section in those lab reports because you wouldn't have done the lab okay so you'll want to make sure to do the labs if you didn't do it the first time you want to make sure that you do them from here on out okay the lab data collections and then do that prepares you better for the lab reports uh, that you do during exam weeks okay um so this week I've already mentioned one of the things you need to do. You need to, your study groups need to work on chapter two. The second thing you need to do this week is the unit one outline one. Now you can do any of the four chapters in unit one. However, I prefer you do one of the two chapters we've already covered. So we've already uh, talked about introduction to perception. That was chapter one. This week we're covering the perceptual process. That's chapter two. Now you can do either chapter three or four as well, but I prefer that for unit one outline one, you choose either chapter one or chapter two. Okay, uh, but that is due Sunday. In fact, the study groups need to have all participated by Sunday, okay? All right, guys, and that's it for this week. So again, what we did last week, good job. You can expect to see grades uh, for those by the end of the week. And then this week, we've got the unit one, outline one, and uh, the study group, the studying in each study group over chapter two. All right, guys. That's it from me this week. As always, if you have any questions, please send them my way. Uh, if you don't, then have a great week, and I'll see you next time.